let's talk about the debut album. So Blood Work comes out in 2022. I listened to the album with a good pair of studio headphones probably five times to really sink my teeth into it. And here are the notes that I have. So has a throwback sound to the early 2000s rock, but also sounds current because of the electronic sounds and the very high quality recording. It's heavy, yet accessible because of the polished recording, the hooks, and the harmonies. The album is full of badass guitar riffs and heavy drums. Does that sound like a, a That's, decent description? That You nailed it. That's actually really good. Actually, I need you to send me that so I can <laughs> submit to other. Here's what we are. That's great. That, that nails it, man. Yeah, I, I, while I was listening, I, I found like it kind of checked off all the boxes where it has the the vintage sound you want but it just it, it still sounds so current because you're hearing a lot of music that's heavy but has kind of an electronic influence on it i i, I is that zach that seems to be the one that's into the electronic stuff yeah and believe it or not so you know before before that that story about where i told you master of puppets led me into the dark side of you know turned me into a metal fan um before that, I was only into like R and B and and kind of hip hop and stuff. Like up until that point, Zach is, although he grew up with you know the new metal era and seeing his dad do all that stuff, he's always been into rap and hip hop. That's what he does. He he his specialty, man. He he's got rap songs I could send you that'll blow your mind, man. He's a, an incredible, you know, rapper. Um, so what he's also been doing you know, the last few years is he makes beats and he sells them. So he's well versed in Fruity Loops and the, all of that that software. So yeah, he comes up with all the electronic stuff, all the loops, samples, and that's a, one of the element that he brings to the band on top of his amazing you know vocal range and stuff. Um, so he does all of that on the recordings and then live we just have that playing on a track so he can just be the lead singer, you know. Yeah, I I. You know, sometimes music is so heavy that it's it's not accessible to a certain part of the population and it's hard to get radio play because it's just so heavy. And I find that th this album, like it's really heavy. There's some like really heavy riffs on there, but it's such a great sounding recording. It's it's the it's very polished. I'm saying that in a positive way, not in a negative way. It's it's just you found a way to record and mix so that despite it being heavy, it's like, it's not overwhelming. Like it's still a pleasant listen. And it's like, even though you're heavy, you're not afraid of melody and you're not afraid of hooks and you're not afraid of, of, of harmonies and the things that stick with you long after the, the song is done. So I, I, I feel like despite how heavy the music is, that it's still perfect for radio, which is probably why you guys are receiving radio play. Absolutely. We have this um, ability to push it right to the very edge of what's going to work, you know, without going over that line of it's too heavy, it's not heavy enough. It's, you know, um, so we've been fortunate to have kind of like that knack. And again, some of that comes from my experience being in a radio band, you know, kind of knowing the market and, and kind of what's acceptable and what will confuse everyday listeners who aren't musicians. Um, and as I mentioned, we all record our own parts. I record my own drums. And I, I usually record mine and mine and Richie, the bass player's parts. Sean records his own guitar parts and vocals. Zach records his own uh, loops and his own vocals. But at the end of the day, we work with a really super talented mixer named Jonathan Dolis. He's a, he runs a studio called Concrete Studios out of Nashville. So we do all of the tracking, all of the editing, and then we send it to him and he like puts that polished spin. He's He's got us, he had us dialed in from day one. I mean, he just knew what we were going for and he nailed it. So we, we continue to use him. He also mixed Bad News and he's mixing the other songs on on the new EP and all that. So we found a good team of what works and we just roll with it. So the, the album, even though it only came out last year, it has a million spins on Spotify, which is ridiculous. I, I think you, you have the Spotify plaque beside you. Is that the, the one for the album? That one right there is a 50 million one from saliva, but I do have a Spotify plaque for the million streams for cold words next to it. Okay. So what is that? 
fan response mean to you that there's a million plays on this new project? It's awesome, man. Um, you know, when we decided to do this and release the record and stuff, we, our expectation was we're going to do a record as father and sons with some friends and throw it out there. And to us, that was the goal that if we could, could accomplish finishing the record and putting it out there, we already accomplished everything we wanted to with it. So having it being well received and, you know, being able to continue on, you know, we signed another deal with wake up for our new EP. They want to keep working with us. It's, it's having success. It's doing good on the charts. Icing, it's just icing on the cake, man. Um, we're just blessed to be able to do, do this band as father and sons and even have the ability to put a good sounding record out, you know, and, just having people lo love it is even better, man. So I'd love to dive into four or five of the songs more specifically, if that's okay with you. Um, so the album kicks off with I Told You So. And I guess an example where you're saying it's heavy, but it's it's just mixed in a way that's still uh, accessible. So the song starts with some some heavy screams, uh, you know, with the I Told You So. Yet it's, it's mixed, so it's still pleasant despite the screaming. And I guess the other notes I have on the song are, um, you know, there's, there's a mix of electronic drums and then recorded drums on that song. Is it, is it easy to pull that off live? Yes, because we, uh, like I said, we put all of the samples on, on uh, our, our backing tracks. We're not, we're not like uh, one of those bands that puts like all the vocals and stuff on there. We just put like Zach, has his whole DJ set up and initially we were going to have him running the samples and singing, but we want him to be, you know, he sings a lot. A so we man, want yeah. the wireless mic and focus on that. So um, that makes it easy because we just, we have that on track. We play to a click and those electronic parts play along with where they need to be while I'm playing real drums. Yeah. It's just the stuff you can't recreate live with, with instruments. I mean, they're electronic. We could, but he could, but it's like, it's going to take away from the show, you know? True. It's cool having, you know, a guy running around with a wireless mic. And and then when Sean's, the songs that Sean doesn't play guitar on, they're both out there with wireless mics, you know? We were like, kind of more looking at it toward what's going to make the show present better. That's that's probably what the focus should be. Uh, the, the song Stained on You, that's the band's most popular song on Spotify. So 340. 3,000 plays. Why do you think people love that song so much? Um, you're, And you're right, man. We got so much good response from that. I think it's that same thing. Um, I think it's just that perfect mix of, um, of heavy, but with like million dollar hook and people that aren't necessarily into really heavy stuff. It's just under that line of where there, it, it resonates with them still without them going, Oh, that's just too heavy for me. Um, I think it's just got the right mix of all the elements that, you know, that target the masses. So the the songs Perfect and the songs You, uh, they feature an acoustic guitar throughout the songs. Does the band ever play acoustic sets? Because I feel like the songs actually would translate well live stripped down. We haven't yet, but um, <clears throat> but we are definitely planning on, you know, at some point, hitting radio stations, doing acoustic. We, we definitely, it's in the cards later on. Um, but right now we, we don't, you know, cause we haven't really got that far yet. Hmm. The, uh, the song welcome to my winter. So it features saliva singer, Bobby Amaru. Uh, how, how does this collaboration come together? I'm sure it's the saliva connection, but where does the idea of featuring him on a song uh, come into play? Um, well, at the time we were, you know, doing the first record, I was still touring with Saliva. Um, and all of those dudes are, you know, my best friends. I, I love all of them. Past members, current members. Um, I still get along with everybody. And um, so we were still on tour and I was playing some of the stuff. We, I, you know, at that point we were writing a record together and I would I would be we'd be on the road and I would play Bobby. Bobby's an amazing songwriter and a good producer and I was playing stuff for him and the other guys to kind of trying to get some feedback, you know? Um, and then I was thinking, well, I think for our, our debut record, since we're a brand new band, 
it would probably be good to try to get a couple of features because it'll help bring more attention to to the record that we might not get. If people see featuring so and so and so and so, they might be curious and check it out and then like the rest of the record. So um I it gives actually, it gives some extra credibility to it as well. Yeah. 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 I actually Welcome to My Winter is a song that I had written. Um it was probably one of the ones that I was writing on my own before I sent it to, you know, let Sean and Zach hear it. Um so I'd already been working on that and um and I I just asked Bobby, I was like, hey man, would you would you want to do a feature? I mean, like I didn't have to really reach out to him. I'm like, I'm in saliva. Why not <laughs> why not get Bobby to do a, a feature on it? So I asked him and he 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 loved the song and he said sure. So you guys have made music videos for half of the album. So five songs. You have music videos for Say Something, My Skeletons, Stained on You, Whirlwind, and Perfect. Uh, the videos have 1.2 million views. Can you give us insight into the making of any of those music videos? What that experience is like? Uh, our listeners that have never made a music video don't know what goes into that. Um, A lot of hard work, sweat, and tears. <laughs> and the, here's the thing, too, is, you know, the boys, my sons had never, again, they were great musicians, but at this point they had never done anything on a professional level. I don't think they'd even been at any video shoots that I had done, even when they were younger. So I used all of my knowledge and I basically ran the whole video shoot. You know, obviously the directors, uh, you know, were, they knew what they were doing, but they're, they're doing, getting the shots. So I had to school them on, you know, picking up, get all the wardrobe. All of the stuff that we had a whole staff of people doing for all of the big saliva videos, I retained that knowledge and I was that person. So it was super cool. Um, the guy who did several of the videos, Thomas Crane at Kill Devil Films, he's such an amazing uh, vision. He's done a bunch of saliva videos, recent videos. That's actually how I got to work with him was because he was filming some saliva videos. And then whenever I would need a cold words videos, I just reached out to him and I was like, Hey man, would you want to do some videos for us? Um, but again, pretty epic experience is getting to do that stuff with my sons, man. You know, long, you know, videos, people that don't know, they see videos and let's say the song's three and a half minutes. They think it took three and a half minutes to do the video. It's hours. It's a full day you know, repeated, repeated shots. You probably do a thousand shots and only like 20 of them get in the video, you know, so. And then there's all the work in the post-production afterwards as well. Right. Oh yeah, that's that's what the directors do. Yeah, it's like weeks. Weeks of them in front of a computer editing, finding all the, weeding through all of those thousands of shots and picking the right ones. Yeah, so I, I went and watched uh, all five music videos for this album and they all look incredible. Like there's like a thickness to them. They look super professional. The the lighting, uh, I, I thought uh, I thought all of them were great. And I actually reached out and I got kind words from Thomas Crane. So uh, this is what Thomas has to say. Uh, uh, let's see here. He says, I met Paul for the first time when I worked with Saliva. And I've had the chance to work together on uh, Cold Words and various other projects. Paul is a consummate professional a great drummer and he's awesome to be around. I love working together. So that's from Thomas. That's awesome. I love all the kind words. I had no idea that you were going to reach out and do that. It's pretty epic. You make me blush. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, it's, we were, we were talking last night and you're, you're sharing all the things you were up to and all the bands you manage. And I was asking if you ever sleep, cause it's, you have so much going on and, and, you know, I can't knock the hustle. And sometimes when you're working that hard, it's like, you, you don't have a moment to step back and, and soak in all that you've done. So I love reaching out and getting kind words uh, from people that the guests care about, because it, it just allows you to kind of absorb, um, you know, what you mean to others and, and how your work has impacted others in a positive way. So I'm glad it's getting you uh, in the feels a little bit. Yeah. It's amazing, man. Kind of bring, puts it all in perspective, you know? <laughs> 